Hi everyone, the pocket full of dough summer of dough challenge continues and today we're going to talk about why people buy. It reads as follows. Every transaction is an exchange of value. An agreement is made when both parties feel that they get more than they give. Let's examine this further. A software developer makes a unique plugin that aids artists in drawing. An artist desires the plugin as a time-saving tool. The exchange of money between developer and artist happens because the developer will use the money to continue developing the software, hire more staff, and run more marketing campaigns. The artist can use the plugin to do three times as much work as before. They will earn more money, be less stressed, and feel more accomplished and confident. Both parties feel like they got the better end of the deal. It's because value is subjective and personal. When people hear about pricing strategies where firms charge a significant amount more than what it costs to produce, they feel that it's unethical or manipulative. Why would someone pay so much for such a simple thing, they wonder. The reason why they feel it's unfair is because they are using their own lens to judge value and fairness. Creating art is easy for experienced artists. Therefore, value based on effort is low. On the other hand, writing software once and reselling reproductions of the code is fairly easy for the developer. A transaction only happens when both parties see greater value in what they get than what they give. Therefore, it's not possible for it to be unfair. Author and sales expert Grant Cardone puts it this way. When value exceeds price, people buy. So people buy for a whole set of different reasons. But I definitely do agree with the quote that says, if you're giving more value than what someone's paying you for when you're selling a product or a service, then you're already winning. What you want to be able to do is sell something offer something to the marketplace or to the desired audience that needs to buy something that fulfills a need. But that fulfillment of that need is worth more than what they pay, they're they paying for, right? In the world of business to business, where you're selling your thinking or you're consulting, you're, you're pretty much selling shortcuts to get answers that may have taken you as the expert years to become an expert in, to specialize in. And the other person that's trying to get those answers don't want to spend the time or the money or even just the hangups and the mistakes because it, it creates frustration, it creates stress. So they'd rather pay for the shortcut, right? The key here is that you have to deliver value. The, if you deliver value and the value is worth more than what they're paying for, then you're good. You're good in selling that product or that service. So love this uh, example here. And at the end of the day, you know, we, we all buy, we all sell, and we all have our reasons and it's subjective. So uh, looking at this is just remember the lesson is make sure that you're delivering value all the time because the moment your value exceeds the cost to your customer, or even if it matches, uh, it's going to be perceived as fair and it's going to help you get more opportunities to close more deals with that thanks for tuning in until next time